don't know if black holes are stable. I mean, we have guesses, of course, but for real astrophysical black holes, we have no proof that the wonky physics of black holes eventually settles down to the simple black holes that we know and love. The Kerr black hole is believed to be the prototype for all black holes in our universe. Briefly, a Kerr black hole is a sort of ideal black hole predicted to exist by Einstein's general relativity. If this solution were realized in the world, it would be an eternally unchanging, rotating black hole surrounded by a vacuum and an otherwise flat spacetime. Of course, real black holes aren't like this. They're not infinitely old, they have stuff falling into them, they merge, they move around, they're dynamical. Nonetheless, when we look out at the universe, black holes behave almost exactly as you would expect Kerr black holes to behave. So it's believed that if you leave any black hole alone long enough, it'll eventually settle down to a Kerr configuration. This is called the black hole stability conjecture. And there's some pretty good observational evidence that the conjecture is true. If you look at the data from gravitational wave observations, you'll see a characteristic ring down after the black holes collide. This kind of exponential decay of gravitational wave emission is exactly what you would expect if the post-merger black hole settled to a Kerr black hole. So operationally, we can probably assume it's true. But evidence isn't proof. It's the job of a mathematical physicist to prove it once and for all. And don't fret, in the last 10 years, there's been a lot of progress. In 2016, Vashi and Hintz, who I had the pleasure of meeting just a few days ago, proved that a Kerr black hole in a positively curved spacetime called Kerr de Sitter is stable so long as the black hole is slowly rotating. Then in 2022, George I. Kleinerman and Scheftel finished a proof that slowly rotating Kerr black holes are stable in flat spacetime. Now, of course, most real world black holes are spinning very quickly, but progress is progress and we shouldn't snub these results. After all, it took about 200 pages and 2,000 pages, respectively, of serious mathematical analysis to prove these statements. One might dream of a cleaner proof, or proofs for arbitrary rotation rates, but for that we'll have to wait.